let's evaluate another power cycle. Uh, this time, let's imagine a reversible power cycle and see what it's capable of. A power cycle operates between hot and cold reservoirs at 500K and 310K, respectively. At steady state, the cycle rejects energy by heat transfer to the cold reservoir at a rate of 16 megawatts. Determine the maximum theoretical power that might be developed by such a cycle in megawatts. So here's a schematic of our power cycle. We have a hot reservoir operating at 500 Kelvin. We have a cold reservoir operating at 300 Kelvin. And we know that the rate of energy transfer uh, between the power cycle and the cold reservoir is 16 megawatts. And we want to determine what the power output of this cycle could be. Actually, we were asked for the maximum theoretical power. Well, the maximum theoretical power would come from a reversible cycle. So we'll analyze this as a, research, um, a reversible power cycle to uh, find the maximum theoretical power that might be developed. We know that the maximum uh, efficiency of a power cycle is based solely on the temperatures of the two thermal reservoirs, and that that maximum efficiency is 1 minus Tc over Th. Well, we already have our temperatures in absolute degrees Kelvin, which is necessary to calculate this accurately. And we calculate that the maximum theoretical efficiency of a power cycle operating in these conditions is 0 0.380. We also know for a reversible power cycle only that QC over QH is equivalent to TC over TH, but that's only for a reversible um, process. So we can rearrange this equation and solve for QH. Well, QH is just QC, both for reversible uh, processes times TH over TC. So we can now uh, solve that. We know QC reversible is 16 megawatts. We have our high and cold uh, temperatures. And we calculate that QH for a reversible process would be 25.81 megawatts. So to complete this, we know that the uh, maximum theoretical efficiency is the power output for a reversible cycle divided by the rate of energy input from the hot reservoir for a reversible cycle. So we can um, solve this equation. We know the maximum theoretical efficiency it was 0.38. And we know the uh, rate of energy input from the hot reservoir is 25.81 megawatts. That gives us a power output for a reversible cycle of 9.81 megawatts. Now, we could calculate this a different way. We know from an energy balance that the power output is just the Q dot H minus Q dot C. And again, this is all for a reversible process. Well, Q dot H is 25.81 and Q dot C is 16. And so we end up with a power output, once again, of 9.8 megawatts. This is a typo here. This kilowatts should be megawatts.